casting and once I get the link I'll send it to you all. <sighs> all right. As people start trickling in, um, wanted to welcome everyone. Um, this is the last Milk Mondays for a while, and uh, I'm so excited to be sharing this with um, two incredible women, Yumi Sakugawa and Janet Lowe. And we are going to be sharing gifts of meditation, music, and movement. And um, the purpose of Milk Mondays is to help cultivate kindness within so that we can better cultivate kindness with those around us. And hopefully that kindness ripples into more world peace. Um, and we hope that today brings you um, a sense of comfort. Um, and this time is going to be really special because we're going to be moving. Um, so if you have a space where you can like dance around um, and you can make yourself feel comfortable if you want to do this in private or if you're doing it with your family and your friends that would be amazing we have margaret from brazil joining um, and uh, we have keely sarah hi everyone um, i'm going to start us off and just get us into a grounding space and after that yumi will be guiding us into a beautiful meditation with visuals. And then we have Janet, who is going to be sharing her um, heart-based movement. Uh, and so we're all gonna dance. And um, Janet and I decided to collaborate in a way to create a special playlist um, of all milk music. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna have you all dance to my tunes. Um, and uh, so this song is a song I wrote during quarantine. Um, I'm going to just pull up the lyrics because I just wrote it. Uh, it's called Me Versus Me. And I thought it would be an interesting way to start off um, and just acknowledging the tensions that some of us may be feeling as we are quarantined and as we are spending more time um, inside. And sometimes we have to go not just stay inside, but go within <laughs> ourselves. And sometimes that can bring up things that are new and sometimes scary. But all in all, I believe that it's all wonderful um, work that we're doing. Um, and so I hope you enjoy the song. Who do I want to be now that apocalypse has arrived? I'm choosing poison over peace sometimes now that I'm forced to look inside. Sometimes I numb myself out with a cigarette or TV, too tired to face my own reflection. And it's me versus me versus me There's nowhere left to run Just me versus me versus me There's nowhere left to run Who do I want to be? As I lose a life I know I'm wanting more than what I need Getting desperate for control I've been wrestling with each hour Hoping sleep brings relief But the weight of all this waiting Keeps me up till three It's me versus me versus me There's nowhere left to run it's me versus me versus me There's nowhere left to hide I want to stay on this side of the unravel But once I get it together it all just falls apart But 
I'm gonna sit through the heat and the pain Praying that we turn out okay, 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 okay Cause that's what I wanna be Okay, turn this end to a restart That's what I wanna be Okay, and resilient in the heart so that's what we're gonna be, e e e e e okay, okay, that's what we're gonna be, e e e e okay, we're gonna be okay. Yay! Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> All right, so... Quarantine, me versus me versus me. What did you say? I think that's just been my quarantine. <laughs> me versus me, so... Oh my goodness. Like, yeah. So hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like... There, yeah, it's like not just even like me versus me, but there's like another me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, and, and our theme for tonight, uh, we, like the three of us came up with a theme of breaking up with the world we knew. And, you know, some of that, like me versus me versus me, sometimes like I'm in relationship with myself or relationship with people or the world in a way that I have like formed these expectations or these hopes and desires. And it feels like, I, I don't know for you both, but it feels like we are, we are on a trajectory of change and letting go and there's grief and there's loss but there's also this new revolution that's happening um, for some of us who are lucky enough to be in that place to face that self-revolution. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you all relate to that at all and want to share what your thoughts are about the theme of breaking up with the world we knew. Well, I think for me, um, the grief is actually less external and more internal in so far that I think because I have these long stretches of time to not be distracted by uh, things that used to distract me before I think I'm just really feeling re-feeling a lot of old childhood pain and I think that as I'm processing old childhood pain, I think there is this grief of not being a kid anymore and mm. having to be the having to be the grown up who mm. has to be part of fixing what's happening. And, and certainly it's not a binary. I think when you become a grown up, I don't think you stop being a kid. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, I think it's um, re examining all the ways that I felt unseen as a kid, and then kind of feeling that all over, uh, because being alone and being isolated reminds me of those old feelings and I think it's also grieving that grieving letting go of old pain grieving letting go of grief <laughs> it's like meta grief um <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot there's a lot meta going grief. on <laughs> it is I love this meta grief idea too yeah and I feel like, yeah, my, my sister just had a baby. She's going to be six months and I look at this child and then I do feel you mean the same thing of being like, oh, I'm in a, I'm a full blown adult. Like, and there's a sense of this responsibility of, for me, like how I perceive what you just said, um, I'm projecting my own experience, but like, I feel like, oh man, I want to make this world better for little Adeline too. And, and and then also understanding like oh I want to make it better for the little kid within me too yeah yeah thanks for sharing how about you Janet yeah. um I love that make it better for you and for the children yeah like our inner child it's the world <laughs> we never had but we wish um I think grief is 
grief is so layered. It's like, I always say it's like a ra rainbow of emotions, right? There's like a lot of studies now that say that even the five stages, they don't happen linearly. They're not exactly five stages of grief. Mm. And there's so much more. So for me, it's, it's a lot about allowing. It's a lot about creating a safe container right now to, as I say, have an emotional education. Um, <laughs> I think growing up for me, it was a lot of um, disconnect from things I was allowed to feel as a woman, as an Asian American woman, as, you know, it's like all the dark emotions um, and even creating a language between that now is there are no bad or negative emotions there's dark and light emotions and it's just this beautiful spectrum um and they're you know within that you can feel joy and sadness at the same time you can feel anger and rage and shame and rebellion and boundaries and the, you know and it's about like really creating that space for yourself to dive in it is such an internal process to really explore your own capacity, right? Explore your own capacity and depth of feeling. Mm. Um, and I think grief is a really, it used to be, I think, a very scary word. It, it, it seems really scary. I'm like, well, oh, I don't want to talk about grief. Like, <laughs> yeah. that's terrifying. Like, what does that word mean? It's a really heavy word, right? Um, and I think that's the fun in, in it for me is finding the tools to figure out what that even means for you now, now as an adult, where I'm like, okay, I can take responsibility for how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking and creating the vibes, creating the, um, the container, the time right. and the place to hold yeah. yourself, right? To hold yourself in compassion and light and, and time. And just, and now we're like, we have so much time, <laughs> so much time to like dive deep or, you know, or not. And it, it really, it's a choice. And um, yeah, so. And you're going to be doing that for us. You're going to help create a container where we're going to be dancing and moving around. Um, and um, I just want to acknowledge all the people that are like piping up on the chat. Mm -hmm. um, I saw Beth wrote something really interesting about a triple goddess. Like, um, I need to find this. <laughs> Wait, let me scroll. Um, oh, yes. Love this self as a triple goddess, too. Breaking up with the world we knew. Me versus me versus me. I like the idea of triple goddess. We can probably come up with, like, what are the different aspects of you that are, like, goddess-like? And if you're male-identifying, like, you know, god-like. Or you can be a goddess, too, with us. Um, <laughs> it's fun to play around. Uh, what are some sides of you that are kind of... Um, bumping against each other. Uh, that's kind of interesting to think about, especially as we move. So again, if you're just joining, we are going to do a meditation and then we're going into movement. So find a space where you're comfortable to move around. Um, all the songs are some unreleased music and some released music made by me. Um, and then we're, yeah, we're just going to activate and, and kind of get in our bodies again and just kind of, I, for me personally, a goal would be to like release and kind of like grieve the things that I need to let go of in order to be able to move forward in this new paradigm that we're walking into. Um, I'd love to hear from you all what you want to dance out, what, what you want to feel when you're dancing. Um, maybe think of something you want to let go of, um, to break up with and to honor like, oh, well, that was a really beautiful time I had with, you know, that part of my life. And now I'm going to let it be completed and to move forward. So something to think about. Um, yeah, so I am so honored Yumi Sakugawa in the house and hi, Yumi. Hi. Uh, Yumi's going to share. Um, some of her offerings and gifts with us. So I'm going to let you take the stage, Yumi. Thank you, Monk. Um, It's such an honor to share this virtual space with all of you. I hope wherever you are in the world right this moment that you are safe, you are well, and that you feel connected. And even if you do feel isolated, you are connected to us and all other living beings present on this earth, uh, both animals and non-animals, non-humans, plants, aliens. <laughs> we are all here together. 
And so what I want to offer to all of you tonight is um, a short guided meditation just to get us grounded. And I'm also going to read a few of my short uh, visual comic stories. Um, originally, I was going to read a short fictional comic story, but then I found these little snippets of meditation comics and I thought, well, actually, I think this is what I want to offer to all of you instead, uh, some self-care tools visualize that hopefully will help you through these challenging times. Um, so wherever you are, why don't we all get situated in a comfortable seated position. Um, feel free to adjust your sitting position, have your leg to feel as comfortable as possible. And if you haven't meditated before, that's not a problem. All you need to do is to listen to the sound of my voice. And if you haven't done so already, you can close your eyes or keep your eyes open at a soft gaze. Take this moment now to breathe in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Again, breathe in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Again, breathe in through your nose. Exhale, loud sigh. As you continue to breathe in and out at your own unhurried pace, maybe you want to see if you can identify at least three layers of sound right this moment. And most of us tend to live in our heads above our shoulders all day. Um, and so what I invite for you to do now is to see how it feels to take up space, not just in your head, your thoughts, but the rest of your body. So how does it feel in your hips? How does it feel in your heart space? How does it feel in your stomach, your guts? Saying hello to all the gut bacteria that's working so hard to keep you healthy and regulate your emotions. How does it feel in your hands? Your hands, which are probably working so hard, typing and texting. And doing other things not related to the internet. Maybe you want to rotate your wrists. Maybe you want to rotate your ankles, roll your shoulders, roll over your neck. Feel comfortable doing so. Maybe you want to do some gentle hip circles, waking up your body. Maybe you just want to do a quick body scan from head to toe. Checking in. Are there parts of your body that feel tight or stressed or worn out? Where are they in your body? How does it feel? And what happens if you send extra love to those parts of your body? 
inviting those parts of your body to relax and loosen and trust the present moment just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Remembering to breathe in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Maybe you want to invite the bones of your body to get heavier and heavier, pulling you down towards the center of the earth. Relaxing the space between your eyebrows, relaxing your jaw muscles, relaxing your throat. Relaxing down your shoulders. Allowing the bones of your body to rest into the gravity of the grounding energy of the earth. Taking a moment to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. And maybe you want to imagine that any negative emotions that do not belong in this present moment, such as painful memories, to-do lists, anxieties, worries, insecurities, regrets, grudges, angry feelings, projections about the future, projections about other people, maybe you can imagine them living in your body as thick, heavy black smoke. And with every inhale, you're pulling all that heavy black smoke into your lungs. And then you exhale it out and that thick black smoke is transmuted into healing, sparkling white light that dissipates out into the air, getting returned to the universe. And so we're gonna do that for a few times. Breathing in through your nose, drawing up all the thick, heavy black clouds, weighing you down, and then exhaling out through your mouth, dissipating into healing, sparkling white light, alchemized by your breath. We're going to do that for a few mindful breaths at our own pace. Maybe now in your heart space, you want to invite an intention for an energy that you desire to call in during our time together here on Milk Monday and for the rest of the week. What is an energy that you desire to call in? Maybe it's a single word, maybe it's several words, such as joy or groundedness. And maybe you want to change that into an I am statement. So if you desire to call in grounding, maybe you can then repeat to yourself in a silent mantra, I am grounded. If you desire to call in love, maybe you want to repeat to yourself silently, I am love. Allowing the energy of this mantra to reverberate from your heart center in through to the rest of your body and beyond the outlines of your body out into the universe. And so a few mantras that I will share with you in addition to the mantras that you have for yourself. I am safe. 
I am grounded. I am loved. I am enough. Maybe think of one thing that you are grateful for today. One person you are grateful for. And one desire that can be anything. Just feeling into what you desire and what excites you. haven't done so already, you can open your eyes if you feel like stretching. Get yourself back into this 3D reality. And so now I'm going to read you a few of my favorite meditation comics from my book, There's No Right Way to Meditate and Other Lessons. Pulling up my presentation, one second. That was really calming. Yay. Um, I wanna check in with everyone in the comment section. Looks like not many people were commenting because they were meditating. <laughs> people are requesting devil, devil and monster. And Ooh. I promise to play that another time. Okay, so here are a few comic meditations I hope you enjoy. Sometimes it's okay if the only thing you did today was breathe. Breathing lets your loved ones know that you are still alive. And every time you breathe in a new idea, and every time you breathe in, a new idea is born. And every time you breathe out, an old grievance is released. 10 ways to get rid of your bad mood. One, have your doppelganger extract your bad mood from your chest so he, she, they can make fun sculptures with it. Ta-da! <laughs> Paint out your bad mood. When you're finished with your painting, set it on fire. Three, explain the reasons for your bad mood over a cup of tea with your two-headed neighbors. Four, ask your dinosaur friend to scare your bad mood away. Five, turn your bad body inside out so your bad mood falls out onto the ground. <laughs> Six, breathe out your bad mood and watch it disappear into the sky. Seven, get lost in the woods so your bad mood doesn't know where to find you. Eight, be your bad mood in a staring contest so it slinks away in defeat. Nine, freak out your bad mood by acting all super fake and chummy with it. Come on, let's go watch a movie. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Ten, your amazing idea here. Please share. So in the YouTube comments, feel free to share your amazing ideas for getting rid of your bad mood. This is your mind. This is your mind on meditation. Any questions? Sky meditation. You are not your thoughts. 
They are clouds passing by and you are the sky. How to be a silent witness to your thoughts, an illustrated guide. Step one, be aware of the fact that you are thinking thoughts. I am thinking thoughts. I am thinking that I am thinking thoughts. <laughs> Step two, now detach from yourself like you are having an out of the body experience you are now being the silent witness to your thoughts. Step three, once you have detached from yourself, observe your own thoughts as though you are a scientist observing a lab specimen. Thoughts. You may find that a lot of your thoughts are quite unproductive and actually hinder your happiness. Step four, take out your negative thought patterns and replace with thoughts that make you happy. My thoughts, I am thankful and happy to be alive. Repeat as often as possible for inner and world peace, the end. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> it's incredible. Love Thank it. You. It's like Thank you for letting yeah. me share. so many giggles and like wisdom all wrapped together. Um, you and me and I have talked about like, and Janet, this will be fun to talk to you about too. Is the what are the compliments that we receive that we usually don't receive, but we like love hearing? And I remember um, you, me, and I sharing, and one of the things that I told you, me, that one of the compliments that I like giving her that she, she delights in is that she's really funny. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. you. Um, Miley says she loves the, the med in part of the meditation, she, uh, how you ask us to look for three layers of sound. So it was really helpful. And then a couple of people shared how they um, get rid of their bad moods and one um, canon said, grab a karaoke mic and yell with your bad mood until it tires itself out. And then, a lot. yeah, right. Yeah, it's great. And then Courtney says, bad moods hide out in your hair. Sometimes you just have to wash it out. <laughs> <laughs> I wash, I don't wash my hair that often. So <laughs> hair, the blonde, blonde light. Yeah. Yeah, um, oh, and Mandel is here. If you all were here a couple Mondays ago, Mandel led an incredible breathwork um, class, and I really highly recommend you check out that um, that Milk Mondays if you're interested in breathwork. Uh, and it just so happens, I don't know if I can share this publicly, but <laughs> Mandel is Janet's boyfriend. Um, husband. <laughs> Boyfriend for life. Husband. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yeah, I lock, I lock, we locked each other down. Locked that shit down. <laughs> we trapped each other's butts. Yeah. That's how Mandel it works. is Janet's lockdown boyfriend, <laughs> aka. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is. See? <laughs> <laughs> Go back to watching the live stream, Mandel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be a better yeah, student. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Um, thank you, Yumi. That was so great. Um, I liked how you were talking about like breathing in, um, the smoke and like, and then exhaling it out and releasing. It really comes back to that theme of breaking up with the world we knew. It's like, let's just let go of some of these things that we're holding on to that we let stir in our body, which was an unintentional and perfect transition into <laughs> Janet's segment. Um, <laughs> Um, okay, so Janet, what do you suggest for people to prepare? Because I'm going to move my camera around. So if you want to lead us, like, what do we need? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. So uh, thank you, Yumi. Thank you, Milk. That was amazing. Um, I feel more grounded. Me too. Um, I wanted to add that I, well, I mean, this is how I get rid of my bad moods, usually. I, I need to move. I need to dance. 
um, I usually have no words for my emotions. I just have like movement and shakies, right? You know, sometimes people are like, how are you feeling? Um, and you're like, ah, versus like, you know, you can read exactly what that means sometimes through body language. So um, this is a movement. I will explain while you guys get ready. You can make a little bit of space. I'm, I'm in my bedroom. It looks pretty big, but it's not like as much as space as you want. This is actually a mirror. Yeah. Um, whatever you feel comfortable with. Enough space. If you like to lie down on the floor, that's awesome too. If you want a five star, like a starfish, that's amazing. Um, this practice is called Dance from the Heart. It is a practice that allows us to go into our heart-led space and activate our dreams, our desires, and unconscious, subconscious, or conscious feelings and things that we want to give a little love and light and mindful heart-centeredness to. Um, it's a great practice for release, for meeting your body exactly where you're at, it is choreography free, so I will be giving you prompts in in terms of movement. They are all invitations. Um, they are all guides. They're meant to be guides and not. Uh, yes, yeah, so take that as it is. Um, let me see. Okay, so a little bit about this process. It was created by Sophia Kozak, my dance mentor. Um, she created a in Los Angeles um, in the last 10 years, a movement practice um, and company called the Critical Mass Dance Company. And they do a lot of work with women and youth um, in East LA who have or are survivors of sexual violence, domestic violence, and all that nasty, not fun stuff. So this was created as a movement practice to help people move through really heavy emotions and feelings and sometimes trauma where you may not have the words for and or help you just connect back to your body and yourself. So without further ado, did I explain everything? Yeah, you guys good? Um, <laughs> cool, I see a nod from Yumi. So I will start with just a little bit of grounding in your body. Um, I like to light my metaphorical, not so metaphorical moon, like a candle as a dedication, as a tribute to recognizing the land that we are in and on and operate in. We are, the three of us are in Los Angeles. So I recognize the Tongva uh, people in their spiritual stewardish, stewardship Oh, I can't use that word today. <laughs> Stewardship of the land, as I also bring in all of our greatest, highest, good spirit. Um, wow, I have no words today. I'm sorry. Our, our, our light workers, our energy workers, our ancestors, any modality, any spiritual higher being connectedness that you work with. You're allowed and we invite them into this space for light and love and healing. Um, so I'm gonna put my moon on the side and we figured out how to share computer sounds with Zoom. So I will go into screen share. Uh, so I will start music. So this whole process is connecting our breath to the five elements and allowing those elements to connect with our heart spaces. So we will go through movement of earth, sky, fire, water, and wind. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I really have no words today. This is great. So if I lose my words, just follow, follow my body, uh, follow my movement. So we're gonna begin before I start music with a little grounding. You can start rubbing your hands together waking up that energy. We like to call it chi, we like to call it ether. Again, whatever modality you work with, you can breathe. You can breathe into the space between your hands. 
I also work with a modality um, by Sheila Kelly called S Factor, if anyone knows that. And she always says that emotions are released through three ways. That emotions are just pure energy in our bodies and they have nowhere to go. So you have to give it place to go. So uh, three ways is movement, sound, and breath. So you'll hear my cues a lot in terms of with dance from the heart, how to connect your breath to movement. You can make sound as much as you want. You can uh, breathe as loud as you want. So the main thing here is to just meet your body exactly where you're at today. If you want to lie on the floor the whole time, you can lie on the floor and let the music wash over you. You can, if something feels particularly good, like it'd be a static dance modality, you can just keep doing that. Like you're like, oh, this feels really good. My elbow just really wants to, you know, do this for 40 minutes. You're like, okay, allow it, right? We never allow these spaces. So allow this container space of time to um, hold you exactly the way you need to do. So, sorry, back to the hands. We're gonna breathe into the space. And you can start playing with that. And like warm honey between your hands. Breathing into the space and exhaling, noticing your life force energy between your fingers. I used to do this in Tai Chi a lot. They would call this like the watermelon. I like to, I, I like to imagine it like honey. So you can feel that energy. And you're gonna take that beautiful energy and you're gonna put it through your heart. And swirl that. it around. You can start moving that energy down into your belly, down to your legs, down your knees, down your shins, down your feet, into the ground. And as we do that, I'm gonna begin music. And my screen share. So continuing down. Into the earth, allowing the earth to hold you as we ground with the first element of earth. And allowing the sound vibration to enter your room, into your space, into your ears. Breathing and you can find space on the ground, allowing the whispers of your body to react or stir to the sound. any part of your body to touch the ground. You can do this in a chair if you're not comfortable lying down. Feeling your ground. Feeling Mother Earth's gravity. Letting Mother Earth hold you. Exactly where you are right now. Breathing into the space. Maybe you close your eyes if you want to find more privacy. Or maybe your eyes are at a soft gaze. Or maybe you feel a certain body part 
tangle and ground you. Saying hello to Mother Earth. Our first element of Earth. We are in the direction of sound. We're moving however your body chooses with this direction of down and this element of earth. Daring to take up space. Allow yourself to stretch into full expression. However, you feel called. How does your body want to express? What do they want to say today? This is your time and your space. And you are held and protected in a safe space of grounding. As this next sound vibration changes, we are going to connect to the next element of the sky. I'm so, I'm so sick of bad, bad news. Breathing like as we slowly pull news. up in the direction it's trying to get me up. To Connecting to the element to of sky, Father sky. I follow my fear and paint it all red. And I was my hand to claim it, but what would that do? What would that do? I could live in the dark and harden my skin and lock myself in, but what would that do? What would that do? Slowly I'm still pulling gonna up. Fall in love. I'm still gonna open up. Still, Your energy still, still, from the ground. Still I will. Still I will give my all. Like roots still from a tree pulling up your still, feet still, your legs still, and your spine. Still I will. Connecting all of your being up, up into the sky. Allowing this sound vibration to pull it's you hard to hate or connect. Looking in the eyes of someone in the direction of up, you know, cause underneath our clothes, we all bruise, we all lose, we all suffer. I could harden my skin and lock my breathing and pulling up. What would that do? What Maybe would that find do? a little surrender? I could follow my fear and paint it all red and lie with my. Still gonna fall in love Ooh, still with your breath. Still, still, still. We're gonna still pull up and connect to still a beautiful universe. Like gold and white light pouring up still, through your heart, still, up and still, over. Still, I 
spreading the gorgeous keep light on up, the wall, on your ceiling, outside of your room, outside of your house, into your city, into the world. Keep falling in love. Breathe. To connect up. Still gonna fall in love. Still meeting your body where it's at. Still, still, still. Still, I will. Moving as fast or slow as you need. Still, I will give my all. Still, I'll be with the intention of moving. Still, still, still. Still, I will. To connect to the sun, to the moon, to the stars. Still, I will. The sky above. Something bigger than ourselves. Breathing. Still, I will fall in love. Still, I will fall in love. This is the motion of connecting. Still, I will fall in love. The element of sky. And the direction of up. Still, I'll be falling in love. Keep opening up. Keep giving my all. Keep falling up all. Beautiful. Now moving into the element of fire. This song. Too long. Backs been breaking. Fire is the element of out. I've been crucified. Direction of out. The element where you get to release. That which no longer serves. Been so accommodating to your fire. Oh, oh. <sighs> you can use your breath. You can vocalize. But I had a revelation. That's not how love should be. Now I know that my Down. freedom was never yours to give to me. Cause I Ah, 
I'm warm. Who else is warm? <laughs> Beautiful. So our next element. Water. When you're ready for the free fall, ready Blowing it down. You're vulnerable to open up and all about filling in. Imagine yourself, 
favorite body of water. Dip in. Take a dive.
bodies. If you still feel tension anywhere, you can gently put your hands on it and release. <sighs> Beautiful. Oh, that was amazing. That's <laughs> so fun. Woo. <sighs> wow. All right, we're doing one more, yeah, Janet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The grounding song. Do you want to take us off full screen so we can all see each other? Yeah, just did that. Nice, very nice. Thank you. Okay, let one last one. I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt your vibe. Okay. Play music.
breaking up with a world we knew, but this is not the end. Yeah, listen to yourself sing. It's beautiful, right? This is not the end. Last time, give it your all. We only got this one life. This is not the end. so beautiful man wow janet thank you oh, that's so you. fun what an honor um so you hold dance classes yeah on like are you are, are offering some uh, i am yeah i yeah. am teaching on thursday <laughs> online virtually so um you can how shall we do this you can follow me on instagram which is jglowgirl um, and you can DM me or, in, um, what's it called? Sorry. Email me. There's a flyer there right now. I will post right after this. About what's how the, to what's the email? I can type it. Oh, it's J A Z N J and glow girl. Email. Yeah. So RSVP Thursday, 6 PM Pacific standard time. Um, and yeah, I will be doing a full dance from the heart session on thursday which is usually an hour and 15 and yeah email me there and i usually we uh lead once a week well online until we do it in person if you're in los angeles again and i would love to close because i like to send people out in the open while they're all open oh, yeah. um with a little bit of grounding okay yeah Thank you everybody for joining. That was so beautiful. Um, we'll let you put your hands on your heart. <sighs> Breathe into this space. We're gonna take three deep breaths together collectively. Gonna inhale and exhale. You can make sound. You can inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Honoring all that work you just did and the movement and showing up for yourself right now, exactly in this moment, exactly as you are. We honor that. We see you. We feel you. We hold space for all of that wholeness and that beauty. May this work be received perfectly in its highest, greatest good to remind you of those parts of yourself you may have forgotten. Knowing that this is a space you always have to come back to no matter what, this is your safe space. Your heart space is always here for you. As we breathe into this space, thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up for yourself, for the courage to dive in and explore. You can hold that intention word that you had at the beginning of the space, or you can come up with a new one. Maybe it's a color or texture or taste in your mouth. Yeah, breathe into that word or color or taste. And you're going to let it go. As you thank yourself and each other for this beautiful space in this moment. And we pray may all beings be filled with light. May all beings be set free. May all beings be safe and at ease and free from suffering. And may all beings be filled with love. Thanks for allowing me to hold space. <laughs> Thank you, Janet.
Thank you, Janet. What an Thank honor. You. Thanks for gracefully, gracefully allowing me to interrupt your flow with email address <laughs> announcements. <laughs> it's cool. I totally appreciate it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. I appreciate every bit of uh, you know support and encouragement, all that. It's all good. We're all in flow. We're all in flow here. No worries. <laughs> Um, you mean, uh, can you share anything you're having going on in the near future? Yes. So on Wednesday, I will be hosting a virtual drawing party. We're all invited to join yeah. and it's at uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Coast time. You can see the uh, details and the registration link and the link on my Instagram profile, which is at Yumi Sakugawa. And it's free, donation-based, open to all drawing levels. And what happens during these drawing parties is that I usually lead a short guided meditation. And then over the next two hours, I do some really open-ended drawing prompts and you're welcome to do those, or if you just want to draw whatever you want, you can do that too. And the chat room is also open. So there are people from all over the world who are all stuck at home in quarantine who just need a creative outlet and people to talk to. So it's it's always been really fun. This will be my third time doing it. And there are people from all over the world and the country who join in. And it's always so cool. a really fun experience. So please come. <sighs> Well, thank you, everyone. I know a lot of people have commented that it's felt really grounding and we're very happy about that. So feel free to watch it again if you need that feeling or sign up for Janet's class on Thursday um, or draw with Yumi and friends around the world. Thank you, Yumi, and thank you, Janet. Love you both. Love you, Mel. Thank you for having us. Yes, what an honor. This is so awesome. Great work. See y'all on the other side of the computer screen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much love and light. Bye. Bye. Bye.